Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. Now, we're over here at Stornoway where things are looking pretty good. Uh, we're getting plenty of sand for the planes. We are getting quite a few passengers now for the, the passenger plane Aberdeen. Now, before I start, I just want to mention that we almost lost the UK uh, series. And it was because of this airport. So I placed this airport. It seemed to all be working fine. Planes were taking off and landing. They were picking up sand. They were actually eventually deleting combat. I was playing for a couple of hours uh, last night, getting some lines upgraded. So I've done quite a lot. I've done all the delivery lines. I have done all the mail lines. All the mail lines are running this truck. Because as you can see, Sometimes they decide to pick up different stuff. Uh, this meal at Maidstone uh, it should be fine. Uh, yeah, so what was happening was I was sitting playing along, blah, 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 blah everything was going fine. Uh, I turned out a save off. I was just saving it manually once I'd done a certain amount of stuff, which was a really bad idea because I kept on getting a game crash. Now, what it said was playing landing failed. So, it was interesting, it was something I'd never seen before, uh, before. Normally when the game crashes whilst the game is running, that is it, it just goes to black screen, it doesn't actually give you any, or sometimes now and again it does give you an issue with a certain mod or something that's happened in the game, but with many many hours of process of elimination, I realised it was nothing to do with mods. Uh, it was nothing to do with uh, airplanes. Well, it was, but it was to do with this. Now, I went back uh, to a point where this wasn't built. Uh, the previous save, not the last one, when we added this and the P2s, which we're going to name in a minute, uh, but the one before that, just when we started in 1940, uh, and let it run on, and everything was good. And I was like, ah, so it must be this. So I went back to a previous save that literally happened about 30 seconds. I saved it about 30 seconds every time this crash happened. So every time I reloaded that save, I had 30 seconds to figure out what was going on. I tried deleting all... I tried to actually find all aircraft that were actually on approach for landing. I watched each individual plane as it was landing and at 30 seconds to see what was wrong nothing I then I actually knew that it was going to be something to do with this because everything was working fine until we added this so I went up here and then I noticed something two planes were sitting here so this one was about there there was another one holding short for the runway and planes were coming in and almost touching the runway and then deviating away they weren't actually landing now I tried it with the passenger plane as well. The passenger plane did exactly the same thing. I deleted all the planes from this route and the passenger route to Aberdeen, and it still did the same, uh, the same error, the same crash. And what I realised it was, it was acting as though that there was an invisible plane on the runway, and that's why the aircraft were unable to land on it they were just sort of going down and then skirting off so it would touch down and then it would go up and then hang a left <coughs> and the planes here wouldn't take off because they obviously thought there was the same issue it turns out there is no invisible aircraft there was no invisible vehicle on the runway here it was a bit of land so when I place this airport you get like land popping through and you have to make sure it's completely flat because as we've seen of the planes that fly beside the mountains, they actually don't fly through the mountains anymore like they did in Transport Fever 1. <coughs> they sort of skirt over the top of them, which looks really stupid and it's really dumb. There should be a hitbox. There obviously is a hitbox for mountains, but there's nothing for the planes to sort of avoid them. They still fly towards them, they just sort of skirt over the top of them and it looks really stupid. So, right about here where the mouse is, the mouse cursor, 
uh, there was a bit of land popping out and as the planes came down they would see that and then they would be unable to land and after a while the game just sort of went screw it so it did like a crash failure after about 10 planes attempted to land so that kind of sucked so that set me back a while to try to figure that out and the further and further saves I went back I was actually a lot more happier because I was like right something that I've obviously newly done this is the last thing I'd done so I managed to get rid of it if it had been something now I only have like I think I've got 10 saves and go back 10 hours and rebuild all the stuff and add new trains and stuff man that would have sucked I would have persevered we might have missed a few days without any transport fever too but I would have got it back and going but if it had been even further than that to a point where I had no save game that was safe from this crash or this bug that would have been it over we would have been starting the new series which I'm very very unprepared for so that would have sucked greatly but now it is working uh, I did actually flatten this area land so it's all good they can land take off do whatever they like it's all good again so this is working we are getting combat back this marble miss marble there we go this is still not working I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have trucks drive marble out to here because I don't think delivering stone just on its own uh, will actually be enough I think we'll actually have to deliver uh, this stuff I think I could probably do that now yeah let's do that let's for a start let's upgrade these terribly terribly ugly roads make them sort of decent roads do that to there that's sweet Right, we are now going to delete this and that. As you can see, I sort of reworked there. There's no vehicle in the way. The ship is there. It doesn't work. <laughs> or does it not work because this ship only takes... Nah, it takes all. Because I have one over here that taketh stone. There it is. Stone ship. Hey, I'm actually going to set you to wait at Stornoway South. For a full load, my friend. I think it can handle it. I think it should be all good. Yes, yeah, 488. I desperately need new ships. Right, so let's eliminate you from the plan. Let's eliminate this from the plan also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, marble. This marble line, Miss Marble line, can go. So I've got some of the trucks done. Uh, we've got all the trams. Ooh. Ah, right. Need to do that. Right. Got all the trams uh, done. Some of them are not in profit now. Most of them were. I think it's just because they're not getting the full loads they need. They're quite brutal trams. If they're not running with a full load all the time, then they ain't going to work. This one's down 103,000. And it has 26 or 46 passengers on board so kind of less than half right this one here I want to delete that line uh, CS Stornoway marble right go away right that is that <coughs> fixed to a certain degree uh, let's upgrade that yeah, let's just do this all the way along the coastline. I'm going to delete that. I, do, I no longer need it. Because, it, well, in actual fact, it didn't really work at all. And then today, we're go after this, we're going to rename our P2s, the actual names. Uh, so I got a request to name the P2s their actual real-life names. I only have three running. One of them is a hush hush that sort of looks like a p2 but i wanted it running on a line so there we have it do i skirt along the back here and try and get this into there yeah we are colliding with the airport 
Um, I think I can get it round. Round there. Down you go. Yeah, and then we can attach that to there. Attach that to there. Do. Oops, it easy. Give me that back. Yeah, do that. Upgrade that, please. Give me this and see if I can connect it to there. See if I can connect that to there. Okay, we've got like a sort of bypass line. So that is pretty much done. Now we've already got this set up. So this can be Marbell. Uh, we will have to place a buildings. I want this here. Make it a 30. Yes, make it a 30. And that into there. That's looking all good. Now, after we've done the P2s, what we're going to do is on the London Northeastern East Coast mainline, we're going to set some A4s. We're going to get the Mallard up and running. I was going to do, do some new stuff with freight, but because of the issue I had with that uh, aircraft bug or the airport bug, and this is a road transfer, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. You are, you're, not, you're not in the correct green, but you're okay. So this will be RDT, road transfer, Stornoway, marble. Right, it is taking the, the precise route that I wanted it to take. There is a depot here. Right, let's get something like 10 of these because these are have slightly more capacity than the Volvos. So get me another 9. Boom. Set your maintenance for high. Whoops, it easy. Select all. Maintenance for high, please. And set you on RDT. Storing away marble. There it is. Right, they are off and running. Now we are getting stone here, we are getting sand, we could probably use more planes. Uh, fortunately, later on, planes will become larger, which is sweet. I may even split the lines so that one takes stone from here, one takes marble from another terminal there. We'll have to wait and see. This Aberdeen line is actually doing super good. No one is using it from Aberdeen, but all the people in Stornoway are using it. I don't know if this works immediately. It may not be working at all since it didn't give any marble to the ships. Now it says production of 900 but shipment is zero. Now this leads me to believe that it could be slightly kaput. But hey ho. Right, let's move over Aberdeen. We'll leave that to do its thing. Uh, in fact, have I still got planes selected? I have. And there are no inbound planes currently. So let's get one, two, three. Uh, select our mate. Nah, we'll, we'll let the cargo planes get sort of beaten up. We'll keep the passenger planes in good working order. Right, so you're going to Wexford. That would be bad. Let's have you go to Stornoway first. Let's have aircraft 39. Also go to Stornoway first. Let's have aircraft 40. Also go to Stornoway first. Now by the time this is all loaded up. So there's 75 sand. That's sweet. There's plenty of stone. <coughs> These guys will be able to get that. This plane here should break it up a bit for them. Uh, the next one is here. Carrying 14 to 24 combats. It made 1.4 million. That is... Awesome. You're landing. You just took off. You are unloading. Do you have combats? Yeah, there's combats waiting there. Yeah, it's getting some. See, it needs marble. So it won't create combats without marble and stone. Now, I may have screwed something up. But I'm pretty sure I set these to pick up marble as well. Now you're taking some of that sand away which is fine. If I had the double runways that would be sweet. There's still nothing here. You're still saying 900 but aren't. 
particularly doing anything, which is interesting. We might have to wait for the first truck to actually arrive. First one is there. It's a hell of a distance. They'll make it though. Right, let's go Aberdeen, find our P2s. See if we can find one. So the P2 ran between Aberdeen and Edinburgh. There we go. There's one. Right there. Sort of looks like an A4. This is the P22. So train 124. Right. First one. First train. Now some of these names are slightly odd. Uh, the first one is actually called the cock. Oh. Now I shit you not. I'm being deadly serious here. The North. Cock of the North. <laughs> Alright, so that is actually one of the trains. Uh, now, you are not alone in your venture. There is train 122, which is actually a hush hush, but we'll name it. Uh, so we'll go for this one, the Thane of Fife. There are other names. I think there were about six trains or maybe five. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, this is a hush hush but I like it. There we go. It's currently in Edinburgh. It should pick up 40 people. Now this is the LMS. But it should be the LNER. Now last but not least train 123. Let's have a look at you. Now, this is the actual P2. There is something rolling there. I'm going to change that. Inner City Central Railway Central Scotland. Still running an old school. What do you call it? Right. No, 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 no. I want this. Right. This one shall be called Wolf of Badenoch. So, Wolf of Baden Och. Right, that is the names. That's at least three of the names. <laughs> right, so they are running nicely, our P2s. Let's push enter on that. They've all been sufficiently named. And they look really good. They actually do. These models are spectacular. So I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for this Central Scotland line. It's probably going to be an LMS number. Now actually I do have this Flying Scotsman Depot out here. Do I actually have? Probably do. We did download one or two newish sort of mods. The London and Yorkshire Railway Dreadnought. But I've used you and you've now changed your name to something else. Now, we have the Coronation class in the sort of streamlined version. And we've got it blue and silver, red and gold. That looks like black and something. And we've got three older variants. Wartime black, crimson and gold, blue and silver. And we've got the Duchess, which was the, this is the Coronation or Duchess class, in black and in red. So six, seven, eight trains there. Now we've got our LNER W1 Hush Hush rebuilt. That only did 70. It kind of looks like this P2 slash 2. Uh, we've got these as well, which is our four what Jim calls it classes uh, A4 class I'm actually they do 90 but I'm gonna put this in with these since they are LNER anyway now the trains we're gonna change up are right over here now if I can find them they're in Newcastle somewhere so you are heading back I kinda would like you Right, I think I only need one of these on here. I think two is 
overkill, so I'm going to sell that one. I've only got nine people on it anyway. Right, Flying Scotsman inbound. You are going to remain the same. But what I want to do is one of these lines, like the East Coast main line just has B-17s and it's got A-1s and an A-3 Super Pacific. So A-1, A-3, Super Pacific. A1 Pacific, A3, A3 Super Pacific, A3 Super Pacific late. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to add a B17 uh, to this line because we're going to be changing, changing it up. Now I actually want to see where all the trains are. So Gordon is down here and he's heading into Peterborough. We've got train 141, which is the vanilla uh, one headed into Newcastle. We've got this one, which is leaving Newcastle. We've got this one, which is heading into Newcastle. So they're sort of boxed up pretty bad at the moment. And this one's at Edinburgh, so there's nothing down beside London. Super Pacific 462 late. Right, hold the fort. Right, so I'm going to get a B-17. But I'm going to release it down here beside London, if possible. Now here is the line, who are you and what do you do? You're LNER London Peterborough. Right, I'm pretty sure I can squeeze a little depot out here. So pull that out to there, catenary, that's a negative, don't need catenary. <coughs> okay, the game didn't build it. Build that please. Buildings. Have we got any new buildings? Negative. Negatory. Uh, spin you round. Yeehaw. Right, do this. Now where is the B-17? So... There we go. That did 70 miles per hour as well. Our Flying Scotsman actually did 75, but it doesn't matter. So I want to add one of these. What I actually want to do is go to my Flying Scotsman line and see which carriages they had on there. So for some reason, this one's got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's the ones with the five. So I've got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Uh, give me passengers. 10 variants, 14, yeah, this, right, I want that, 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 right, that's the 5 by 50 million, no problem, set you on intercity LNER flying Scotsman. Right, so the B-17 is not being retired, it's just being added onto this line. Because all the trains are stuck up the top, <coughs> we want some down at the bottom as well. Right, now our A-4s are going to be departing from this station here. Now, it's the LNER East Coast Main Line, right, so we've got the B-17, the A-1 Pacific, the A3 Super Pacific early, but we want to change them up and we want to add another one. I want to actually see where they are. So this one is heading into York South. Push pause. This one is heading in Ipswich. It's heading north as well though. And I have this one. Oops, this one 
is heading south to Norwich. So these are actually spaced out decently and this one is in London. Now it's got a capacity of 126 for the moment. Now what we're going to do is manage vehicles, select one at a time. So this one at the bottom, let's replace it with steam. Yeah. Now we'll do this one first. Obviously it doesn't doesn't do the 90 miles per hour. And that's okay. It looks like an A4, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the British Pullman. Pullman's on it. 130. Uh, well these are London, Brighton and South Coast. Yeah, world synonymous with luxury cars built by the Pullman company were considered the finest and most opulent way to travel above and beyond ordinary mainline services and carrying a significant significant surcharge to prove it. While often a Pullman carriage or two is part of the mainline passenger service, certain lines featured extremely luxurious all Pullman services, such as the London and Brightest South Coast Railway Southern Bell service. Now I actually have that weird Southern Bell train. There it is, the Brighton Bell. Now apparently this thing rolls on its own. Built by blah 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 railways, electrified London Victoria Brighton service. <coughs> Your luxury and was one of Britain's most famous services. The Five Bell was an all Pullman service. So am I supposed to put one at the front and one at the back? Is it in diesels? What is it? It's an electric, right? No. It's a multiple unit. <coughs> I've got two reversed A4s. I'm probably not going to use the Brighton Bell. Yeah, but this thing has 75 miles per hour. It's, a, it's an engine type, it's a diesel. So there must have been like an engine in here. Right, I'm going to get that rolling on somewhere. Definitely. Don't know where. Have to figure that out. But we're going to get it. <laughs> right. But right now we're focusing on this. So what do we want to use for this? I could use the BR Mark 1 coaches, the TSOs. Not sure what the difference is. Uh, BSO, first standardized British coach, brake standard open, and TSO is, I'm not sure. Ah, so this is the brake coach. Now these are for LMS coronation class. So I think I am going to use the Pullman's. Well, let her. Now the Grizzly coach does 100, we could have used that, but it only carries 8, and we've got quite a lot of people using this. Although there is 7 of them on there. Okay, Steam. I'm tempted to use one of these. <laughs> a lively poly in a different variant. Right. Hush hush rebuilt. Add that. Passengers. Where's the Grizzlies? Yeah, that's 56. Is 56 enough? They do do 100 miles per hour. Or do we use this? 12. First class, first class bar, kitchen class, third class, third class break. Hmm. 
And I think that's just a reversed. Or is it? See, I would have that facing. Right, maybe extinguish the grizzly from that. Right, let's go with this. See what it looks like. One, two, three, and third class, and break. That's a capacity of 60. See, I would have these two swapped around. I don't know why. Capacity of 72. Go for it. Replace. Right. <laughs> that looks pretty sweet. Actually. Right. Push play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this is almost like the... Okie doke. Pool, man. It looks really cool, though. 72 of 72. How much people for the East Coast Main Line? 10. We are going to be adding another train to this, though. Right, now find another one. So that... Wait. Do people actually want to go to... Yeah, South End on Sea. So I could probably get a second one of these. Do I want a second one? We could probably put different coaches on it. Better coaches. Manage vehicles. I'm getting distracted. Right, capacity of 56. That sucks. These are German coaches anyway. I've been meaning to swap them. I mean, that's German as well, I think. It's a London Northeastern Railways number. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Capacity of 110. Change that up. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at our hush hush that looks like an A4. Yeah, it looks good. What's a freight rolling about here? Yeah, you're rolling past a freight train. Yes, I think this one looks good. Slightly less capacity than its previous. See, this one's got 126. So when it reaches a station, we're going to have to pause it and upgrade it. Let's see if there are others near a station. Now you've got 66 leaving Newcastle, or headed for Newcastle transfer. Uh, nope, give me that. You've got 72, so I can upgrade this one. It doesn't, won't affect the passengers, right? Just manage the vehicle. Right, replace. I want steam. We're all the way down, find my A4s, right, so we've got the class A4, this is the standard in game one, so we'll get that, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to have it in this configuration, six, seventy-two, replace, didn't lose anyone, that's good. Ah, uh, look at this. The Mallard it is pretty sweet. It's awesome. Yep, all these other trains are going to be put, put to shame by these. Now, it looks really good. One thing I, I have to check as well is whether its line is like fully high speeded. That is, that definitely is, because it's a wee, wee darker, darker brown. It might get held up by this idiot. 
All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's okay, because it's all high speeded now. Uh, I'm actually going to delete a few of these before I forget. Now, this line was hemorrhaging cash, and it wasn't transporting hardly any fuel. This is the one city, Newcastle, where I added bus lanes. Not to ease buses, but to ease truck flow. Because it was a disaster of epic portion. Right, let's follow this line. You're all good outside York. Now, which way do you go? I've got no idea. Maybe I should select you. There you are. Give me you. Right, so you're heading out this way. Is this high speed track? It looks like high speed track. Did I actually upgrade all this for some weird reason unbeknown to me? I think it did. Now I know where it goes from here. So, tracks. Do that. Now this is all done. Go to the line. Just to check. Yeah, that's all done. And then goes... Right, we need to upgrade that section. And that section. This one here. Catanery. That's a negatory on the catanery. We don't need it currently. Now you are heading for Norwich. So when you pop into Norwich, one is going to have to upgrade you. There we go, on the south end on C. No idea which track it takes here, so I'm just going to upgrade all of them. <gasps> no, one of these was electrified. I think it was this one. Was it that one? Wait, no, it's this one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. so no. And then yes. Right, the issue seems to have fixed itself. Now we're gonna have to leave high speed catanery on while we do this bit because it does share its line with an electric train or EE1 right, the game has not decided to upgrade that it should split off though so it splits off you split off that way right, I'll just finish that's it it's done it's done it's done it's done You go out to there. One, two, three. All right, that's all high speeded now. Right, I was slightly confused as what the hell was going on there, but we're okay now. Uh, you continue on. You've just lost half your train because I was upgrading stuff. I do apologize. So this one at the 70 might be the only one to sort of hinder some of our trains but it should be okay it's got quite a lead in front uh, between the train in front now you are heading for Norwich and you're almost there you are heading for Norwich as well and you are almost there so I need to release a fifth one somewhere I think what I'll do is I'll release it out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you. Speed up. Go, 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 go. Little tank engine there. In reverse. It's nice. In fact, keep an eye on these. 50 miles per hour. That's slow. You are doing 70 miles per hour. That's decent. Right, pause. Now, give me traineth track. Go away, please. 
Yeah, construction is not possible. Yes, it is. Just build that there. Don't care what it looks like. It's just going to be temporary. Looks pretty hideous, but it's okay. It's just to get a depot in, and then we'll get the next train out. That'll be another one sort of done and dusted. Uh, you are going to want to go back in that way. That's fine. Right. Buy vehicles. We want steam. We're going to pop down to the bottom. Find our A4s. Right, we used the vanilla one. We're going with the early. Don't really know what the difference is between these, but they are pretty cool. Inspired by the German flying hamburger. That just appeared in a Steam Workshop a couple of days ago, I think. Passengers. This. And that. And that. Get the people a bar. Get them a kitchen, obviously. Third class, no second class back in those days. First and third. Right, buy. Right, auto save is in the way. Not much we can do about that. Come on, my friend. Taking a hot minute. And there we have it. Right. Set you on LN and our city LNER is Coast Main Line. Right. Off that one goes. We'll keep an eye on the other two trains. Give me you, give me that. So you've not approached Norwich yet. We'll come back and look at that one. Though it is almost there. The other one is almost there as well. So once it gets down, down below a number that is under 72 or 76 or whatever the number is, I'll change them. Looks like you are going to be customero number uno. <laughs> Numero uno. Right, so you... It might not even drop off enough passengers to get under... 70, what's it called? 96, 90, 87, 85... Right, it's below 70 though. So you were previously a B-17, you're going to be changed, manage vehicle... No, not that one, this one. Manage vehicle, yeah, go in here and do it. That saves me from screwing it up. So we've used A4, we've used early. Let's get a late. Modify for zero. In fact, replace it. I'm pretty sure it's not going to cost, cost me zero. Now the unlimited uh, the unlimited version is the one that does like a hundred and uh, 25 odd miles per hour. We shall have a look, not in this episode, but in the next one, to see if it actually gets a section of track. Right. 72 was the number there. Yeah, so we need to keep an eye on this one. Push play. Once it goes below 72, we're all good. And this will be the unlimited one. Oh wait. I'm looking at the wrong train. 71. Perfect. Manage vehicle. Replace. Steam. Uh, come down hither. Unlimited. 126 miles per hour. Madness. Bowman's. One. Two. Three, four, five, and six. This is probably not the right configuration. This is the way I like it. Right, sweet. <laughs> Fits much better in the station also. Let's have a look at them. 
So this one doesn't obviously have the mallard sort of written in the side. It looks like a kind of different shape from the vanilla. It looks pretty cool. Let's scope out this one. Yeah, this one has mallard written on it. Yeah, this looks like a like a newer version. It's got that skirt where this one doesn't. So it's pretty cool to have our different mallards running along. Uh, we still got to check out this one down here that was heading into London Town. And it's heading into London Town right there. Alright, you were an early as well. No, I think you're a late. Because you've got the weird skirt. <coughs> okay. Pretty cool though, we've got our mallards up and running. Uh, we kept our B-17 alive on the LNER main line. So that is totally fine. Oh, the flying Scotsman line, we'll see. And we're looking pretty good. I mean, as far as train goes, we really suck. I mean, three million were down here. I mean, this Manchester goods can probably change up for something else. Uh, this Newcastle Silver Train will actually be in profit once it makes a delivery. I mean, marble, 10 million. Next one down is 8, 7. And we are like 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's not too bad. Worst, a million. SOS Sand. Yeah, it's actually... I can delete some of these because... Oh, what's happening? What are you waiting for? No, dude. You're made in fuel. Made in fuel, made in fuel. Yeah, you be deleted, please. So it's not that these are not profitable, profitable it's because they're stuck. Now, this one's waiting for con mats, but no con mats will be delivered until this gets in. And then you'll get your con mats, my friend. And then hopefully the rest will just pick up fuel. In fact, I may just set these. Manage vehicles. Replace them with... Tankers. Yeah, and now it picks up 13. This can drop off com mats for someone else. Really, these ones are the only ones I want picking up. Fuel and stuff, right. You've got no fuel for London Fuel 2. You are also London Fuel 2. You are also London Fuel 2. You are also London Fuel 2. You were made in fuel, but you didn't get enough. Thirteen. Yeah, yeah. So they are picking up. That one only picked up one, which is weird. So we lost a lot of fuel there for some reason. Uh, SOS fuel is this one. Now I don't know currently there are some there. So I can extinguish some of these because I no longer need them. I've sort of fixed this area. I built this tunnel to go round <coughs> and get rid of some of that. But yeah, the the Maidstone one is fine. We've got some combats going for Folkestone. What are you? Maidstone fuel? You can go as well. Maidstone fuel. Right, so we're all good there. Yeah, yeah, so these are bringing in the con mats, so they all just sort of got stuck, unfortunately. Folkestone fuel, yeah, Folkestone fuel is actually picking up uh, con mats, but that's totally fine. And then the South End on Sea fuel can now get in there, so this number will go down. Look, it's starting to go down already. RDD Belfast alcohol probably too many trucks on there I'm interested to know what you are grain 
Uh, okay, replace you with something that hauls green. That. Replace. Apply. Off they go. I mean, there's no need for this amount of trucks now. We can extinguish quite a lot of trucks from this line. Because right now, at the moment, everyone is just sort of stuck. And no one can get through, because we're waiting for these to load up. They have causeth mayhem. Get rid of you as well. I should probably make these roads faster. No, 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 no. Yeah, there is alcohol waiting. You just can't pick it up because you're loaded up with like three food. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'll upgrade those lot roads later. There we go, 624, that's getting the combats. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, let's go and jump on what named our P2s. We've got our A4s up and running. I just need to find one. There's one. Now, are you the last one? You currently are doing 44 miles per hour, which is pretty astonishing. Now, I did put these Pullman coaches on, and they do not do 125 miles per hour. What do you do? Ah, they do 130, we're good. So if the other train that does 126 can get up to that, so be it. I mean, this one, just going between South End on Sea and Ipswich. Is it Ipswich or is it Norwich? Can't remember. It's actually looking pretty good. Hopefully it will make a profit. Now we're down to like 10 frames here. Down here at uh, South End on Sea. I have added a lot of vehicles and deleted a lot of vehicles. <coughs> Looks like the CPU is starting to tank. We're only in 1940. Too many trucks one would imagine. How many road vehicles do I currently own? No idea, but this will be fine. This London Mail will also be fine. Ah! Wait a second, I think I know what the problem is here. Right, the game built this. I've actually deleted this many, many times. Because these traffic lights don't work. Not at all. <laughs> they just sort of go round. Yeah, and these get stuck. There's 250 mil. I would like them to come down here and go round. But yes, that little bit there is no bueno. Is there something I can place in there? Yes, there is. Streets. No, buildings. Give me a bus stop. I can't place it on the junction, but I can place it there. And I can place another one there. Now, if I try to build some road... That's still possible. The game will still try and build it. Maybe if I made it one-way street... And made it only go that way. Sure. Now they can't come out there. Okay. So we're going to leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave... Ooh, where's my Majigger? Do I have a Majigger? This goes main line. Let's just jump on with the U. Head in Ipswich. Yep. Yeah, as always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy. This has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. 
and I will catch you later.